Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to draw overlaying histograms with the ggplot2 package in the R programming language. So in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create in lines 3 to 9 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame ob object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can also have a look at this data object by clicking on the data and then you can see that our example data consists of two columns. The first column is called values and contains different numeric values and uh, the second column is called group and contains an indicator for our groups of the data. So as you can see we have a lot of values for group A but then we also have values for groups C and groups B. Now let's assume that we want to draw a histogram which is showing these data with the ggplot2 package. Then we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 11 and 12 of the code. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And uh, then afterwards we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package. Now, if we want to draw a histogram, we need to apply the geom histogram function, as you can see here in line 15 of the code. And the important part, if you want to overlay multiple histograms above each other, is that you need to specify an alpha. So uh, alpha means that your histogram is transparent. And for that reason, you can see the histograms in the background which are overlaid by other histograms. And then what you also need to specify is uh, that the fill should be equal to your group because with this argument you can tell the ggplot function that you want to draw multiple histograms in the same graph. So if you run line 14 and 15 of the code you can see that at the bottom right of RStudio a new graphic is created and as you can see this graphic is consisting of three overlaying histograms and each of these histograms is representing one of our groups A, B and C. Yeah, so this is basically how to draw an overlaying histogram with the ggplot2 package in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm describing the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, I will also put the R programming code of this video into the description so you could copy it from there. Yeah, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.